Right guys, Mark Crossfield here, TaylorMade Aero Burner Fairway. Uh, looks pretty snazzy. It's got a little Batman wing. Fancy. Um, let's give the Aero Burner a hit. GC2 HMT, Tactics Pro V1 balls, my normal setup. We're going to give you real ball data, show you how the club performs, uh, talk about how it looks and feels. Also, TaylorMade Aero Burner. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, tailor-made aero burner. We have a big slot channel, whatever they're calling it, I don't know, but it's a gouged out bit at the bottom. It goes from toe to heel. That's gonna make the face maybe friendlier across wider parts, help with the mishits in theory, I presume. Um, it's got slimline aero burner, aerodynamic whoosh, whoosh um, designs on it and looks. It looks fantastic, actually, this kind of, I like the shape on the top, these kind of two lines and then the bobbly bits either side. It's got a little fin, which is kind of a bit tailor made -y really. That, that's doing, what is that doing? Apart from giving it physical presence of something's going on there. Mm. Yeah. I want the club with the fin on it, please. Um, putting it down by the ball, like I said, it looks really good. Um, you see, see the fin, but it doesn't offend me down looking down at the ball so much. It's just here, right? hello, fin. How important is it? Any golf club without a fin, chuck it in the bin, not gonna work. <laughs> um, it sits a little closed, and I don't like that. I don't know if there's a TP version of this out or coming, but this one here sits left it sits the face is pointing left of zero it's pointing closed of target line unless i start pushing handles forward so to me it feels like i have to kind of manipulate it a little bit which would kind of stop me gaming it to be honest um let's give it a hit see what it feels like like i say it looks really good down by the boy i don't want it to sit closed because it does look quite funky with the little fin and the bobbles and the bits right let's give it a hit oh a noise wow that is a noise that makes the aero burner noise that is one big loud pinging free wood which i think will appeal to lots it'll make you feel quite excited about what you've just hit oh i mean i know if i hit that we're in a course vlog with the guys they would instantly go what's that they would not expect that noise unless they've watched this video they don't watch these videos so they probably would <laughs> let's give it another hit Oh, that's, I mean, that's a great, I've ripped that. I want this club to sit squarer. Because it looks nice. I don't mind the noise, it's loud. I actually quite like it sometimes. It's quite funny, you can kind of play on that noise a bit. Um, gives you something to talk about on the course, doesn't it? Um, I like the look and the stream. I don't like the fact it sits close. Interesting to see the numbers. Again, I think it looks relatively low spinning. It doesn't look like it's, it looks like it's flying this way rather than any of that. Um, which worries me a little bit from hitting off the ground, but it also excites me for getting kind of, I know that model works well for me with the driver. Yeah, hit that nice. Oh, it's an interest, I don't know what to say with this one. It sits closed, I, that annoys me. Um, and I don't know if it's just one or if they all do, because I've only ever seen this one. Uh, I'll speak to TaylorMade and find out. The fin is hilarious, but looking down it looks really good. I like the little shape of it. White to the black looks lovely. The sound is loud, but I don't mind a bit of loud. A bit of loud talking. Um, let's look at the numbers. Let's see what the numbers are doing. I don't, I don't know what to make of this. Whack! One, two, three, golf! That one's, let's look at these numbers. I'm a bit confused with this one. Let's check the numbers out. Right guys, numbers time, uh, launching at 11 degrees, quite low, it's a 15 degree launch, uh, sorry, loft on this. So TaylorMade are saying that you might be worth going up, they're making four woods and five woods might act like your current three wood, that's slightly low launching. Spinning at two three, I mean that's a driver spin, one of them spun at one nine, averaging two three seven on distance, I and mean, that's long, that's long for my three wood, I mean my three woods... 240 at very best and kind of 220 carry ish. So 237, it's long. It's only 26 peak height, so it's not that high. And again, the spin isn't that high, and the launch 
is low. Uh, <laughs> what do I say? Um, it's different. It's a different model. It's interesting. It's not what you'd expect from this kind of club. I'm expecting high launch and spinny when I look at it. But it's not doing that. It's spinning low. It's spinning like a driver. It's going quite long and I'm hitting it well in that test. If you look at the strikes, I mean, I'm centering lots of them. Um, so I'm, I'm zero e parfy and I'm getting kind of geometric middle, which is where the effective sweet spot really is on that club for my delivery. Um, it would concern me with the lack of spin and the lack of height when I'm hitting a three wood into greens a lot. It didn't look that low when I hit it though. Um, but look, I mean, there's the numbers. The numbers are what the numbers are, aren't they? Look, you can see what you like, what they look like. Um, yeah, don't know. It's the closeness of the sitting which would offend me the most. I think if there was a more neutral sitting version, I would be tempted to take that out on the course and have a little play with it. Um, obviously, you've got to remember with your free wood, do you want it to go further? It's got to sit and fit into your set. If it just starts catching up with your driver, then you've got two clubs of the same. Great for people who maybe want to use it as off the tee, backup driver clubs. They find their free wood easier because it's shorter and it's got that bit more loft. Um, interesting numbers. Post comments. Come on, guys what, and girls. What do you think? I'd love to hear what you think of that. I, I'm, jury's out. Love the looks, don't like the clothes. Uh, the fin's great for entertainment. Um, the numbers are interesting and different. They're almost like a driver number. Interesting, post comments, let me know what you think. As always, go and test it. Go and give it a gay self. Get it in, uh, we'll go and see your pro and go and whack it and see if you can get numbers out of it that fit into your game. And post comments and let me know. I'd love to know what the feeling is on that club because I'm not sure. Thanks for watching, speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel, also thumbs up the video, post comments, love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social, the more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well, just follow the links, all in the description. Come and join the show, get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.